Deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty known as talc procedure using the big bubble allow us to get a good dissection down to decimates, make this procedure for stromal diseases or keratoconus far superior to what we can do with penetrating keratoplasty. We start by defining the center of the cornea using a caliper. By measuring it from the limbus to the center of the cornea from both sides from 3 and 9 o'clock. Then we put 16 marks using anise suture markers for accurate placement of our sutures. We perform a partial trifination about two-thirds of the corneal thickness using the baron trifine. Each quarter of a circle turn is about 60 microns. The first four quarter of a turn only makes the blade comes in contact with the cornea. The following turns are the cutting ones. One, two, three, four, five, which makes a trifination of about 300 microns. Then we perform manual lamellar keratectomy to remove the anterior half of the corneal stroma. This stage is important to enable a deep and paracentral placement of the cannula to increase the success of acquiring a big bubble. We initiate this half stromal depth dissection at 12 o'clock position with the 10 micro lamellar dissector. It also can be used this micro lamellar dissector along the periphery which may be hard to reach with the larger dissector. Then we complete the dissection with the tan larger lamellar dissector which has a larger surface profile to help stay within the lamellar plane. Initiate careful entry into the stromal bed at 12 o'clock position with a sharp 27G needle. Entry should be near parallel to the stromal bed at 2 to 4 mm from the corneal center. The depth should be approximately half of the stromal bed. Then insert the dull cannula, attach it to a 5 mm air-filled syringe into the opening created by the needle. There should be a tight fit to ensure no air leaks through the track when air is injected. Under high pressure, gradually apply a mid-constant downward pressure on the syringe to release the air. As the stroma threshold is reached, feathery opacities will appear in the stroma indicating ear entry into the stroma. Continue to maintain pressure or increase pressure slightly until a circular silvery opacity develops and extends the trifination margins by about 1 mm. This indicates successful formation of the big bubble and the detachment of the decimates membrane. Then we perforate the decimates membrane under viscoelastic material with a super sharp needle. Before these steps, of course, we have performed a paracentesis to reduce the pressure. Then using the tan micro dissector, we make sure that we are in the proper plane pre -dismetic. Then using the dark scissors, carefully cut the posterior stroma lamellae into four equal quadrants, similar to the lens in the divide and conquer FACO technique. Longer blade should be inserted into the razor blade cut and the base plate of the scissor should be on the decimal membrane to prevent inadvertent perforation. Each quadrant cut should extend about 2 mm from the trifination margin. Separate any stromal fibers along the peripheral edge with the tan marginal dissector.
Use the dark scissors along the refination edge to completely excise the quadrants. Then we remove the decimates membrane from the graft. First with a sponge, then we pull it with an untoothed forceps. Separation is usually easy. Then we put it on the surface of the cornea and we suture with 16 interrupted suture. But this depends on each surgeon's favorite technique. The advantage of this technique is that you can retain the patient's own endothelium and the endothelium is the one part of the cornea that cannot regenerate its own cells. If you run out of endothelial cells, you end up with a cornea that decompensates. And this cornea is most likely is going to last during the patient's entire life. Dalk is technically difficult to master. But still, although it has a very steep learning curve, but it's a very rewarding procedure. The worst thing that will happen with a failed dalk is that it will be converted to a traditional penetrating keratoplasty. Thank you very much.